Hello guys, Gladiator Bricks here. I noticed that nobody has been... I've still got my cold, but I thought I'd go ahead and talk about customization because it was strong on my mind and, well, I noticed a lot of people were talking about how they can't go online and shop online for, um, for custom armor packs and other stuff, but you don't, you don't have to buy them online. You could get Brick Warriors at Toys R Us or Five Below, which is very easy to get them. Now, if you shop on Walmart online, you can actually buy Brick Warriors online at Walmart. I kind of wonder why you can buy them online at Walmart when they're not sold in the Lego Wild at Walmart. I would like to ask Walmart why online you sell them, but in your actual store you don't sell well anyways back to the fact at hand the um, customization could be done with any kind of brick building theme I mean there are ways to get what custom weapons for your minifigures that are actually much easier now anyone who says to you you can't use mega blocks um, character building or any other brand don't listen to them because when you're making a custom anything goes in fact for making my custom snake eyes minifigure I used a mega block piece I mean I used a creo piece and this is the coolest and most awesome snake eyes minifigure that's ever been made in my opinion this is more brick built than anything I could and of course my Snake Eyes figurine does have a normal Lego katana. I mean a normal Lego sword. Which is a shortened sword. Which fits on his back very relatively easy. Which is in a part of his Brick Warrior's armor. And if you look, I mean Brick Forge armor. And if you look closely you'll see it's just pretty much one I made. Must, I pretty much... I might actually make a mold for this same design and just make me a bunch of molded weapons like that and then paint them and start selling them or something because that would be a cool sword design I could sell if I could just mold the head mold the same design for a head because this is actually glued on permanently I can make like a molds for the snake eyes heads and probably print the snake eyes heads one by one and sell the snake eyes heads to fans who want to build a Lego form of Snake Eyes. Anyways, back to the fact. Um, Creo, Mega Block, and character building, and lots of other different th th themes. Like non Lego build brick building themes, you can pretty much get custom armor packs from. Now, a lot of people will probably comment in this in this video down below. If if construction toy dude construction toy dude um, buys a lot of of brick building brands. So if you check out his channel, which he'll probably comment in this channel because there's a shout out to it for him in it. Hopefully he does comment on this channel on this video because his channel is just awesome. It deserves more views than it gets. It get he deserves thousands of subscribers. Now, of course, there's also Geo the Jedi. He's pro Lego, pretty much, it looks like. But he's also into Star Wars. Check out his channel. There's a lot of other channels that I'm subscribed to. Go ahead and check them out. Some channels that I can't think of from the top of my head, but I like all channels I subscribe to. But pretty much check out any customization channels you can. But my suggestion is, when you're making a custom... Do what you want to do. Don't let people tell you what to do in customization. Make what you want. Build what you want to build. Because with Lego, it's an unlimited resource of builds you can make. The, the designs and ideas are limitless, and it is your decision. You can make... You could make a cool, uh, you could make a cool team out of 
with your Lego figures. With your figures, you can make a cool, awesome team of warriors. Now, how'd he get in there? This guy keeps appearing everywhere I find him. He seems... To, he, must, he must be wanting to get on the team. There, permanently out of the way for the time being. Like I said, do what you want to do in, like, in building. Don't, don't always depend on what your fans want. I mean, I love to hear what my fans want me to build. I love it. I love to build just about whatever my fans ask me to build, and I will do it. You ask, I'm still playing on a stop motion with Marvel vs. DC. I'm also planning a stop motion, zombie apocalypse stop motion. Get that another one asked me to do. A bunch of stuff, but one thing I won't do that I will admit that I'll never do. Giveaways. I try to avoid those because I don't, I'm not like swimming in dough. I'm not like, I'm not a rich billionaire. In fact, most of my Legos are like hard earned. I pretty much have to work to get every dollar I get. So it's, so it's like, um, ow. And if you're wondering, sorry about the spit there. I'm still suffering from a s horrible throat problems today, so it's kind of hurting me to speak. So, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm actually speaking at a full voice. Because if I talk my usual voice, I pretty much can't hear a sound coming from it. Well, anyways, that's it for today. Comment, subscribe, share this video, and it's probably going to get more likes than dislikes because I'm sick in this video and it's not got the best lighting because I think my light, light above my head is starting to mess up pretty much. But anyways, until then, happy building and keep your sword, keep your, keep your sword, um, where did I put that thing? Give me a second. You know what? From now on, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end every video with another with another word. And keep your sword out of the stone. And keep your sword out of the stone. That's how I'm gonna end my videos from now on. Keep your sword out of the stone.